Wow. Hey guys, this is Cyclomania. I am super, super ecstatic right now. And I think you guys know why. Uh, I uh, finished uh, installing the BioSand pump filter. Um, I think the install just looks freaking amazing. Uh, oh, I am glad to have this done. I've done just a little bit of testing to make sure everything works good. Um, that's the coolest thing that I'm most excited for right now is the pump works. Um, and the pump is freaking powerful. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn this thing on in a few minutes. Uh, just let me go over it real quick and tell you guys how it works. Um, one quick, quick thing is uh, these are really cool. These are a union and a ball valve. Uh, one piece unit and uh, I think I pay about 17 bucks for this and to buy a union by itself for an inch and a half is a little over six bucks and the ball valve is about eleven dollars so you're spinning about the same but you're saving space um, these things are uh, a lot smaller than a ball valve and a union if you were to put one in place but uh, I think they're really slick looking they look good but uh Basically, I went with a flex spa tube right here, inch and a half, uh, inch and a half here. The reason I did that, pumps move, so I want a little bit of flex in there. Same thing right here. I got a, a flex tube in here. Um, there's the waste. It shut off. I got another. Uh, that's how I drain the sand out, and another way of cleaning it. That ball valve shut. Um, I got a pressure gauge here. This is a skimmer box. Everything's closed right now, so let me see if I can open this up. And uh, you can see that there's a little bit of water in there right now. This is just going to protect my uh, my needles on my uh, my pump. So let's go ahead and put that back in there. Uh, screw that down. Let's see what else. So basically. Uh, I got another union ball valve here. Uh, this has got a check valve that's in here, so that this is the jets. This will allow no water to come back anyway. But I just put it there just for kicks, um, so I'd be able to remove it and stuff like that. So, all right, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. So we'll go ahead and uh, turn all these on. So opens this way, opens this way on this guy. <coughs> I noticed that you sometimes have to prime this with air, so I don't know if you can hear that, but there it comes. Got water coming in there. Well, let's go ahead and plug this thing up, or turn this thing on. Give me a second. I'll set the phone down. And it's running right now. So, uh... I know this looks like a lot. Things hauling ass right now. We're at uh, about looks like we're about 16 psi. Uh, got zero pressure on this side. I noticed uh, I do have a little bit of uh, leaks I gotta take care of, but all in all, everything's working good. Let's go ahead and set this out over here just in case. I gotta shut the power off. I haven't done any testing at all, but uh, as you can see, this thing is hauling ass really fast. This is like a freaking garden hose. So I'm gonna have to figure out uh, basically, I'll have to turn this down, but uh, I think the best way around that is adding a manifold in right here, like I said. And I'm going to have to run multiple tanks to try to get rid of some of this power. I'll have some of the power going back to the sump. But uh, this thing's hauling ass. For 50 bucks, I bought this setup right here. Uh, that's not counting uh, all the money I spent on the plumbing, but uh, wow. So I don't have this thing filled up yet, but uh, I will be filling it up. But I think this is way too much velocity. Um... Basically, for this system, so uh, I'll have to do my testing, obviously. But uh, 
I hope you guys enjoy this video. Phone's getting a little misty. It's like the Niagara Falls over here. But, uh, right on schedule. I think this thing turned out pretty sweet. I'll have to get the halides over it. Build my drain. Just kind of going through here, seeing if I have any leaks or anything. Looks like I have a slight leak right here, I'll have to fix. Uh, at least I can at least I can get in here and I can test everything I'll go ahead and turn the power off on that So that's it guys, that's what I got so far, um, whew, man, this thing, I, I'm, real, I'm real excited to have this thing running right now, um, I didn't think it was going to be uh, something this cool, but uh, this thing is pretty badass to look at, um, well with that said, water's a little dirty, that's the sand filter that's in there, I know, I never changed the sand out or anything, I just wanted to make sure this that pump worked and everything, but uh, um, so now, I'll go ahead and build my drain, basically for the system, and uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with my manifold. i got to purchase a sump now, i got to remove this shelf out of here, um, I'll put a sump underneath here, uh, basically I'll have to basically bypass this right here, so... What we'll do is we'll whack this. These unions are real cool, so I'll loosen it and I'll turn that 90 so it's facing this way. I'll uh, add a coupling here and I'll run this to my sump. Uh, this line right here will fill up my sump. And unfortunately, I think, if I'm mistaken, I'll have to run Let me think for a second. Yeah, okay, so I'll just run this to the sump, and then it'll have another return pipe that comes back into this 90 right here. So we'll just bypass the, we'll bypass this pump, and uh, it'll just pour water into here. I can even get it to pour water into the filter sock if I wanted, but uh, for now, this is working good. I gotta get rid of some of this power. I didn't think this thing was this powerful. Um, the guy said he thinks it's around 2,400 gallons an hour. I, I'm thinking it's way up in the uh, 7,000s, uh, maybe even 6,000 gallons an hour. It's really fast. But, uh, I mean, it's got to have a lot of pressure to, to basically fill that ball up, move sand around, and uh, pass through these 90s that take away probably a couple hundred gallons an hour once it hits it. But uh, it is inch and a half, so. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll go ahead and post this.